everybody welcome back to my channel so today um, I just wanted to do a quick little video on how I do my everyday makeup and I do work um, anywhere from 32 to 40 hours a week and so I need a quick and easy makeup routine that looks good um, that looks semi-professional because I do have a professional job um, and so I have kind of messed with makeup um, to get the easiest everyday quick look for me and I really like this look, um, and I do, I use it almost every single day. It's this look right here. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, very minimal makeup, and it works for me. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope you get something out of it, and maybe you can try this routine yourself and see if it lessens your getting ready time or anything. This entire look um, took me about, it only takes me about 10 minutes to do from washing my face to getting the makeup on. So I hope you enjoy, and if you do, give it a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Hi, everyone. So I wanted to start off by washing my face. I am using the Ula Henriksen, and I did look up how to say that. If you watched my last video, you know I was struggling with that. But it is the Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser. I use the recommended amount, which is two pumps, and I am just washing my face right now, and then we'll get into the makeup. Okay, so the face is clean and dry, and now I'm going to use the Ula Henriksen Truth Cream, face cream moisturizer. I just apply a small amount all over my face, and whatever is left over, I will apply to my neck. So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and I do use two different shades, um, each color, one's a little too light and one's a little too dark for me. So I combine the two and I get the right color. I was just showing you the salve, the Rosebud salve that I use as a lip moisturizer. And then I will get started with putting on the foundation with a makeup sponge. Just mixing those two foundation colors together to get the right color for my skin tone and then I am just applying it with my finger all over my face um, and then I will blend it out with a beauty blender okay so now I am all blended and I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and put just a little bit underneath my eyes, a little bit on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. And I just do this to do a little bit of a highlight. I don't want to really do too much of a contour because this is my everyday look and it is supposed to be, you know, quick and easy. So I don't really do too heavy of a contour, but just enough to cover some of those dark circles from that, the sleepless nights I'm getting right now. So now I'm going to go in with my True Match powder and just set the foundation uh, so it doesn't move on me throughout the day. The L'Oreal uh, Pro Matte foundation is really, really good. It gives me really good coverage and it doesn't tend to move too much, but I just want to set it just in case. Now I'll be going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Um, just as a little bit of a bronzer, not so much a contour. It's just to add a little bit of warmth back into the face. Um, sometimes my skin can look a little washed out if I don't do this step. Okay, now for the blush, I am using the Milani Baked Powder in Luminoso. And it adds a nice little pinkish hue to the cheeks, and I really like this. Now 
I'll be applying the highlighter using the Becca Opal. And look at that. It is so beautiful. I love this highlighter. It is probably my all time favorite. And it is just, it gives a nice little glow to the skin. So now to give a little bit of shape to my brow, I am going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow Gel. And this little gel, it has little fibers in it that help to fill in any sparse areas you might have in your eyebrow. And I really love it. Sorry, I am watching Love & Hip Hop, so I had to check out what was going on on the TV. So I finished curling my eyelashes and now I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And the reason I said one is because I do two, I, I curl and do two coats of mascara on my lashes. So this is the first one and then you'll see the second one in just a second. And I do use a different mascara. So now I'm going in for the second time curling the lashes again and then adding my second coat of mascara and of course gotta watch love and hip hop there again and i am i the reason i do this is because i like to really get my eyelashes a lot of volume um since i'm not wearing any eyeshadow or anything to really make the eyes pop this is how i do it and i do not apply any mascara to my lower lash line because i prefer it um it looks a little more natural I mean it's not natural obviously because I'm putting on two coats of mascara but it looks a little more natural to me now I'm going in with the Katy Perry matte lipstick and the color Sphinx which is kind of a nude rose color which I really like and here is the finished product. I just took a couple of pictures so you could just kind of see how it looks up close. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.